to make, show you how to make a snow bomb out of household ingredients and it will actually give off more snow and more potassium nitrate sugar. What you're going to need is some aluminium foil, a stone rod, a candle, some ice and sugar, some sodium chloride weak. You can't use pure stuff, I know some people make their own. Uh, if you use pure stuff it just explodes literally, it just turns into plastic explosives. And you're going to need some digital scales or some just like quite accurate ones. Um, you measure out 16 grams of sodium chloride. I'll do. Yeah, 16 grams of sodium chloride, um, along with 4 grams of sugar and 8 grams of candle wax. And then, and then um, uh, two grams of baking soda. Right, you're going to need 16 grams of sodium chloride. You are going to need the weed killer version because if you use it when it's pure, it, it honestly doesn't work. The reason I'm doing this so slow is because these scales have super lag. Uh, you're going to need to grind the sodium chloride into a powder. So you're going to need like a ball mill or something. We've just got like a container with a load of ball bearings in it. You can always crush it as well just with a spoon, but it's not quite as accurate. Um, you're going to need four grams of sugar. It's normally about two teaspoons ish. Ice and sugar is the best because it's already a powder. And you're also going to need two grams of baking powder because it slows down the combustion uh, and it stops it from bursting into flames and just not giving off any smoke. So sort of this much, I think. A little bit too much there, doesn't matter though. Uh, then one candle as well. The scale just turned off. You need 8 grams of candle wax, so the normal tea light candle is normally about 8 grams, so I'm just going to put this straight in the pan. Uh, so there's your ingredients ready, now you just need to uh, mix them all together. Right, uh, mix all your ingredients together and stir them well. You need to make sure these are mixed, like, quite thoroughly. Okay, just keep stirring until they melt. Uh, these are almost done now. Okay, once your wax is melted, uh, just add all your ingredients and then just stir it until it cools. I'm just going to stir it in here while it's still warm to just mix them properly. Okay, once it starts to harden, it'll sort of go into this like mush. This is what you want. Um, when it's like this, it'll start sticking together a lot. You need to sort of keep trying to separate it because you really want it to be sort of a powder more than a blob. And when it's fully hardened, I'll show you how to case it. Okay, once it's cooled down and you've kept stirring it, it should like it should be sort of a powder like that, like little, little, little tiny balls. Uh, just Pull them onto a sheet of foil. Right, after you've got it all out, just uh, just wrap it up.
open the foil, basically. You're going to need quite a lot of foil because it gets very, very hot. And it will melt the foil quite easily. You have to treat this like a ping pong smoke bomb because um, you have to like turn it upside down. It acts in the same way. Let's foil. Okay, once it's nicely wrapped, just put a hole in the top of it uh, so you're going to light it. You are going to need a blowtorch to light it or a fuse. Yeah, well, you, you, you're going to find it difficult with just a normal lighter. Right, yeah, use the blowtorch to light it. Uh, once it's lit, turn it over like a ping pong smoke bomb. It's very good when it gets going. Not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't use pure sodium chloride because it, like, it happens like that, but like ten times worse. Oh. Just keep it in there. Nothing fits. Stop that. I think it's, it's too slow, too slow. That was this poor thing. It's not thick enough. Is it speeding up a bit? Just don't put it in a guinea pig, it's <laughs> fucking retard. Yeah, so clearly the second case worked a little bit better, just a uh, slower reaction, so it needs to be a little bit wider. <laughs> 